So, you made it through part one. It's awesome. It's really awesome. This, this is actual steel, by the way, and it's actually kind of annoying, and it kind of actually hurts. Uh, for those that are wondering, that is, uh, this is a Army of the Czech Republic helmet. Why do I have one? I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you just, uh, sometimes you just get things in life, and you have them, and you're not really sure why you bought them. I seem to get a lot of comments about this. Yes, this is me. Uh, I have trouble looking at my camera just because it's like what what's behind my camera is very very this is a very odd place for me to look at. These videos are meant to showcase playing Tarkov in a specific way. If you enjoy stuff like this, please leave a comment below. If this is your first video watching this, welcome, welcome to my channel, and thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. All right, so once again, we got another fabulous spawn. And we're going to show that exact same run, but I'm going to add a little bit of a twist to it. Now, because I got some good armor, I got a hand grenade. I have the ability to start taking on players a bit better. Right. And actually, I want to want to quick find this. Five. They don't pull out the other one. So, like I said, I have a higher chance of running into players over here. They can push this hard. But there are caches over here I can hit. So I want to hit these caches before hitting the town. So what we're checking for in here, we see there's food spawns. Where there are food spawns on woods, what that means is there's a chance you can get moonshine right now. Um, for some odd reason, they up the spawn, this wipe, um, on this. And it's it's kind of confusing to me, but you know, BSG knows what they're doing, I, I guess. So, right there, too. When you're looting, and I understand some people might disagree with this, I think that is the perfect time to start playing around with the concept of learning how to do jumps in Tarkov, learning your character's limitations. If you break a leg or two, you break a leg or two. It's, it's the cost of learning. It, it's, the, it's the cost of learning in Tarkov, in my opinion. So, we're here in gunfire. That's a good thing. Uh, it means that most likely if there's somebody over on this side of the map, right there. Hey, we got whiskey. Right. So you can see we already have quite a decent amount of money before we even go over to the town. The reason we're giving the town a second is because I want scabs to populate in there. The longer you are, there are no players in an area, the higher the chance that there will be scabs that spawn. On top of that, I'm hearing out for who would most likely be the person to screw me over the most, which would be somebody coming from this side. Something that people often don't check, there is a fuel spawn here. It uh, spawns pretty regularly. And any place fuel spawns is also some place I've always been able to get fuel conditioner. I don't know if that is true on all maps, but I have found that to be generally true in most cases that I've been playing the game. And last thing we're going to check is this thing right here. And then we really want to be getting out of the open area here. Just because snipers should be being set up in probably the next... Maybe that's a good sniper in Tarkov is set up in the next minute or so on this map. And if you're really good at sniping, you're already set up. And I would most likely already be dead from somebody sitting on Pride Rock. One of the big things about learning maps is learning the angles. And I think one of the easiest ways to learn maps, unfortunately, is learning to snipe on them. So right there, we got a scab. And like I said, we kind of want to leave them up as little alarm bells. Um, so that way, if a player comes on that side of the town, right, that scab's going to chirp. Or he, and he might chirp on me, too. What'll be interesting uh, is if the scab, uh, sorry, or the scab will fight somebody. And so, like I said, right there, the other raid, right, there was uh, loose spawns. Spawn there. And right now, we have that as well. And hey, look at this. Silicon tube. Now that scav can hear us on wood, um, and they can aggro on you on situations like this. We are starting to kind of fill up. It's okay, we're gonna start dropping things though, left and right. The way I organize when I'm doing something like this, right, and you're going, hey, what are you doing? Why am I reorganizing? I'm prioritizing, I know I'm gonna be finding other loot. And the loot I'm dropping is stuff I don't wanna be worrying about having to manage in the middle of a firefight. That's kind of close gunfire. Again, now we have a decision to make. We want to start rapidly running through this area. We want to check for things that we know are really good. So like I said, tech spawns, right? We know there's a high value spawn here. We got one last raid. Sometimes you can get lucky. P 
peas are good. Peas are always good. So you notice I'm not doing the trick anymore where I'm trying to grab, get a little bit of extra experience. I'm trying to make my speed, I'm picking up my speed a little bit because of the gunfire I heard. Because if somebody comes in this town, I want to be in a spot where I'm ready to fight, not what where I'm looting. Okay, so we have a scab bar down here. That's a good thing. Okay, so we got one scab down. I think that was the one that was talking. We have another one talking. Okay, he's down. I see him. Okay. Oh. Ooh, you tricky. He got me. You see that trick, guys? That was a trick. That's how scabs, they trick you. They trick chats, too. So these are more of those loose spawns that a lot of people just don't hit. So anything that has a flat surface, uh, for the most part, can have loot on it. Not all of them, but most of them. A lot of it's about catching it from the corner of your eye at the right angle. And you just kind of learn to pick. Ooh, BS angle. That is... Oh, that is going to be fun, 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 fun. That's going to be some fun ammo on factory. Eh, no. We do want to check the moonshine spawn. There are two of them left to check that are, in my opinion, high chance for moonshine. All right. No moonshine. We got 3M, though. EWR. So a lot of this loot is good if you had a bigger backpack and you could get more. And that would be probably one of the criticisms I think I would face with this video. I, I'm very interested in debating with you guys on, on this topic. I think that low investment kits is infinitely better than investing in high storage capacity. So we have a lot of good loot on us, so we're just going to do the cash this time. So the first time you do this run, you should do it before you pay for the car. Learn how much stamina you lose doing the run. There's a lot of people, I think, who, who think they can do it, and they don't realize how much stamina it's going to take them to crouch and uncrouch to loot and possibly sprint back and to pick up full speed. What happens if you get a, an overweight item? What happens if you get excessively overweight? How good are you at making quick decisions uh, with loot? These are all questions that you need to really think about uh, when, when looting. And right there again, we got another right around 10 minute raid. There's certain things we're gonna keep because I know I use them in crafting. If you're wondering what I use them for in crafting, uh, various things, or sometimes it is barter trades, uh, other times it's preempting tasks. Uh, for the most part at this point it's crafting. I wanna bring you in as a green smoke just cause you're fun. Green smoke is fun. You, know, you can make money with it, but it's fun. Uh, so my containers, um, they have tags on them. And I guess that's something I'll go through too. This helps sorting your stash a lot because uh, I've gotten questions on comments in the past about this. So the way that you tag a container is you just right click it, click tag, you can select the color. Uh, so let's change this one up. And now it's gonna be green and it's gonna say junk still. Um, there is a bit of an issue with this with, so document cases are a great example. Customs, we'll take this one out. Say I rotate it, it just says docs. These are ones that you would wanna color code, but that's why I just always find a spot to do them horizontal like this instead. We are gonna do some flea market selling. This is probably one of the hardest things to learn in Tarkov. I am willing, I am more willing to sacrifice making money in Tarkov than staying out of raid in Tarkov at a very large expense sometimes, especially if I'm playing with friends. There's a certain point where if I'm playing with friends, I might just sell all of this defense just to clear up space, just to get in, or I will delete things out of my stash because it is faster to get back in raid because I would rather be having fun and enjoying the game than worrying about this number up here at every point that I'm playing Tarkov. And we're gonna collect our money at the end of these and that make it build a little bit of suspense, right? Oh, this is real dangerous. I'd rather be, st I'm gonna rent, I'd rather dead sprint them. Hey man, what's going on? Buddy, we can talk it out, right? Okay. I'm a cool guy, we could be chill. I'm just, I'm just trying to make a loot video for people, teach them how to loot. I don't, I don't really want to shoot Timmy's, but if you're not Timmy and you're Chad and you want to fight, I get it. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna be showing, showing loot. It's okay, man. I understand you're behind the containers. It's a scary situation. You got somebody voiping at you on woods. It's confusing. 
But we can do it. Oh, oh, you're right. Oh, I shot it. the scav. What about you, buddy? How you doing? Okay, you're also a scav. There's definitely a human here, right? Like, I saw a human run in here. Oh, now I'm going insane. Please don't make me go insane. Other PMC. I'm gonna have an existential crisis if you don't talk to me. Okay. So, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, in Tarkov, you just have to talk to yourself for a little bit. I still think there's a human here, though. I'm gonna deal with that road when it comes up. So back here is a spot where you can get, like, LED X's and optical scopes. Very rare on LED X's, but pretty common on optos. Uh, by common, I mean, you know, it might take you a hundred raids. Listen, in Tarkov, we play the odds, right? Oh, okay, we're getting the scav board. Okay, so this is a mechanic that happens here sometimes, where just scavs will effectively keep spawning. Uh, you'll get about five or six of them. It's actually super fun. This is, like, it's super fun. I find it a super fun mechanic. Some people don't, though. Because they're just gonna, like, the more I kill, the more they charge. And it's, and it's fun. We're gonna kind of keep looting. What we're gonna do, we're gonna give them, we're gonna give them a little smoke cover. Hey, buddy. Have a smoke grenade. Have a smoke grenade. Не задерживаемся тут, что-то какое-то хуёвое место. Oh, gun down. Gun down with your own scav guns. And just like that, we have ammo for our gun now, too. Look at that. Everything works out in Tarkov. Is he coming through the barbed wire? Why does he go around this way? Oh, I love you. Whoa. There might be a player here. It's okay. I like it. I like it now. This is no longer a loot run, uh, I realize. A loot video, but it's okay. Sometimes you get trapped in loot, right? And I want to show you how it's it's okay. Hopefully. You know, we never know. I have no idea what kind of ammo I have right now. Yes? Okay. How you doing, Mr. Scab Man? Did you throw the grenade at me or did the PMC? I don't know, but I'm gonna drink this drink. I'm just gonna burn some money here. Give him less loot. I think it's just the scab. I think he threw the grenade. Could be a player right there, too, and we're about to be sniped, but, you know. Alright. We're gonna push the scab though to Dirty Town. It should be right. Do you go behind the rock? I usually know where these scabs go. Okay. Usually they'll hang out right around this rock or push down in the low ground. That is interesting. I might get killed by a scab here in a sec. But it was worth it for the sugar. But we didn't loot all of the camp. Again, we we're gonna go back into money making mode, which is. Oh, yeah, hey. Right here. We chase the scab down. We're gonna ambush him. Watch this. Come here, Mr. Scab. No? I mean, this is this is textbook tactical position, but yeah, he's right there. Let's go get him. See? So one of the reasons you want to strip guns like this if you're not going to take them, uh, too, of ammo, if you ever come across that, it's so that when scabs come by and pick up the guns, it's kind of a dick move. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Effectively, it's to prevent people from quickly grabbing a gun to fight you with. What we're going to do is we're going to double tap O. So we're running the map a little bit later now. We, we pay it, we're paying for it with experience. You know, we got a few kills, got a little spicy. Oh. Well, reason why you don't want to have a good gun. Or bad gun. Oh. Hey, Mr. Scout. You're in a really weird spot. So. Uh, that's easier with max strength and max endurance. I do understand those of you at home may not be able to attempt that as easy. Uh, if you do like this content, if you do like this, please leave a like, please subscribe, please leave a comment below. Um, I, I'm trying to engage with all of, with everybody at a at a normal human pace, at normal human hours. Once I'm finishing up this looting series and done editing it, I plan to make the outfit contest video. For those of you who don't know what that is or what I'm talking about, it's okay. I have a Discord. I'll, I'll drop a link below. 
um, there's a channel called Bitcoin Event. You can take a look in there. It's where I'm it's where I'm putting out information on a, on a contest that I'm putting together, uh, as well as setting up the long term for maybe some more events and and just some fun stuff to have to screw around with in Tarkov. I'm just trying to figure everything out still. Thank you. Have a good one and be kind. Share supplies.